Hi, Lauren here. Let's talk about tripods. I think they are the second most important piece of equipment after a quality lens. Yes, more important than which DSLR you have, since they all do a great job now. A good tripod helps ensure you are getting a rock solid shot. Notice I said good. A flimsy tripod is worse than no tripod. It makes you think you're getting steady shots, but you might not be. So what should you look for when buying a tripod? I'm here to help with that. Here's my list. Is the tripod strong enough for your camera and lens? Do you want twist or flip leg locks? How tall are you? How small does the tripod get? How much does it weigh? Do you shoot much at ground level? These are all things to think about, but the first is the most important. Your tripod and head must be able to keep your camera steady. I talk about heads in another video, but get one that is strong. I usually say get a head that is one size bigger than you think you need. It won't weigh much more, but you won't outgrow it. Stay away from tripod legs that look like pencils and tripods that wiggle when touched. Count how many leg sections the tripod has. If it is five, it is compact, but that last leg is getting pretty small. My favorite tripod has three sections. It is big, but I could jack my car up with it. Four sections are pretty normal. There are two basic ways to lock the legs, twist or flip. It is kind of like shooting on auto exposure and manual. You can tighten a twist lock as much as you want, or you can set the flip lock and it keeps that tension. Twist locks give you more control, but you can work faster with flip locks. The disadvantage of flip locks is that they loosen over time, and you need a tool to tighten them. It's not a big deal unless one loosens while you're out on a big trip and didn't bring your tools. Get the right height tripod. If you get one that is too short, you'll spend a lot of time hunched over to look through your camera, and you'll tire quickly. A center column will let you raise your camera higher, but you now have a monopod on top of a tripod, and it isn't nearly as steady. Do you travel much without your car? If you do, you may want to get a tripod that compacts nicely. The legs on many Sure tripods fold up against the center column to create a nice small package. Do you carry your tripod very far? If you do, then weight may be a concern. Carbon tripods weigh much less than aluminum, but they have equal strength. But carbon fiber usually costs twice as much. Do you shoot at ground level? If yes, then you don't want a center column, or at least one that is removable. The legs on all Sure tripods splay out so you can get close to the ground. Or you can reverse the center column and get your camera right down low. That's a quick look at tripod considerations. I have a much more detailed blog post on my website, laurenphotos.com. Click right here to see the post. Get out and shoot.